Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing good on this beautiful Saturday. It is muggy in Rochester, New York and a little breeze. I hope everyone is doing good on this beautiful Saturday. It really is. Um, some things we're gonna talk about. A lot of people have written into me and I'm gonna answer all your questions. Um, if the shoe fits, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what's going on with you. You can always reach me after the show, 585-296-1334. Always get back to my viewers and I always reach out. Um, if I don't reach out to you right away, it's because I'm busy with another person or on the phone with another call. Um, you just gotta be patient and I will get to you. I will reach out to you. That's a promise. So I am Angela Speranza, the love coach of Rochester all over the world. And there's some things that I wanna discuss and uh, must be 18 years of age just to clear my conscience because you know at the end of the day i really don't give a fuck i say what it is i s tell you how it is and i will let you know what you need to know what people don't know how to explain and when i say that i mean say for example you're going through it with your ex you're going through it with your person that you're with right now today and you go to talk about it with a friend, an aunt, a cousin, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, whoever, it doesn't matter. Let's say you talk about it to someone that you gave that, let, let, me, let me rephrase that. Let's say you talk, talk to a person about your person and You've let them know that they have hurt you tremendously in so many ways. Let's say this is a family member. Let us let me make that clear. Let's say you go talk about your problems to a family member. You know what? That is the worst person that you can talk to about your relationship as a family member because they're gonna be negative, they're gonna talk shit, they're gonna point out all your ex's bad flaws. They're gonna make you feel stupid. They're gonna make you feel dumb. They're gonna make you feel like you're not worth anything in that entire conversation. Stop talking to people that put you down and make you feel worthless and low than how you already feel right now. You wrote in to me, so I'm gonna answer it the best way that I can so that way you understand tonight what's going on from this day forth from here on out. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester Cern all over the world and we are discussing so many things tonight. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday. Get your blunt, get your drink, get whatever you need to keep you calm and just listen to a few things that I have to say. So some of the things that I have to say are cruel and heartbreaking because you're going through this right now with the person you're with. Stop talking to people about your relationship that are going to make you feel like you did something wrong. That's number one. Number two, if your ex left you for somebody else, they don't just up and leave you. They were doing that behind your back the entire time. You were having arguments, you were having problems, you were fighting, you were yelling, you were calling them, they were distancing themselves, you were texting them, explaining how you feel in these text messages, and they were ignoring you. They weren't just ignoring you. When you would bring it up and talk to them about it, they would put you down and make you feel like everything was your fault. That person that made you feel like that is a narcissist, 100%. Because, number one, they left you. Then they flip it and say they left because of you. Number two, you reach out to them every way possible, every way you can, every number, every way you can to get a hold of them. And they give you their ass to fucking kiss. They just toss you aside like you're a fucking piece of shit. Because that's the way you feel because you wrote into me and I'm giving it to you the way it is. That's because they're talking to somebody else. They're not answering your calls because they're chit-chatting, getting to know someone else. And they've been doing it for quite a long time. 
The reason why they're not responding to certain text messages that you send them periodically through the day, through the week, after they left you, before you broke up, this was planned. As hurtful as it sounds, this was planned. They were waiting for the last argument, the last fight, for you to say something, for you to bring something up, for you to talk about something that they don't like talking about because they know that they have to defend themselves against you because you're good and you were good to them. And when your ex has to defend themselves against someone that was good and that had their back, that was there for them, that helped them when they needed it, that even if say you have kids with this person and you did everything and they still fucking abandon you and they still fucking left you for someone else and they want someone else to play mommy and fucking daddy that's a fucking piece of shit that's what that person is because they left you for what you didn't cheat on them you didn't give your number out you weren't talking to nobody else but what they do it and you go to talk about it to get some answers they hide they put the blame on you they yell and scream like a child they hang up the phone they threaten you in text messages they tell you to stop calling to stop texting that's all part of their fucking game that's what a cheater fucking does that's what a narcissist does they twist things around and they blame you they make it known that everything was your fault and they tell everybody in their power that will listen to them that will be as stupid as they are and they will join in and badmouth you and they will have somebody else in their ear telling them what to say telling them how to feel telling them how to look that's exactly the way it is that's what's going on with your ex right now that's the reason why they're not fucking talking to you because they're fucking too busy entertaining someone else i am angela Sparanza. i am the love coach of rochester and all over the world and just here to give it to you straight you can always reach me after the show 585-296-1334 and a few more other things that we're going to talk about before i end this and enjoy my beautiful saturday evening I just want you to know that you're going through it right now and yeah they did leave you for someone else and that is painful and when you try to talk to a person that is ignoring you that sees nothing but bad and drama that's the mindset that is going to stay with that person when they're talking to someone else let's say the rebound because that's all they are is a fucking rebound because when they left you for someone else, they're trying to get over you. And that's why they're saying and doing all this shit they're doing is because they're trying to get over you. And the person that they're talking to is a fucking loser, is an idiot, because they know all about you. They know that their person left you to be with them. And they think that the grass is greener. They think that, oh, they got a fucking trophy. They got a king. They got a queen. No, this works for men, women. If you're gay, straight, married, roles can always be reversed. Um, they think that they won some prize. They didn't win shit. Your person is going to treat this new person the same way they talk to you, they treated you, how they act when they're alone with you, mentally, physically, sexually, if you guys smoke, drink, whatever. This is what your person is doing with the next because they have to find somebody that's compatible. They have to find someone that they can manipulate because they're mastermind manipulators right now. They're trying to find someone that they can lie to, that they can badmouth you to. So that's their way of getting over you when really at the end of the day all they're doing is hurting themselves when it's all said and done and you gave up you stopped calling you stopped texting you stopped reaching out you stopped driving by their house you stopped driving by their job you stopped driving by where they hang out when it's all said and done at the end of the day all your ex will have left to think about is how they treated you, how they ended things, what they're doing, who they're with. They would take a long, good look at themselves and they will come back. 
a person always comes back to who was good to them. And if you were good to them and you were 100, in the end you win. Enjoy your Saturday.